Hello people, today I'm gonna show you around the engine harness for a Volvo D13. So we're gonna go up in depth to check it out every single part so you can understand how the engine harness works. So let's get started from the main body of the harness. This is the, all this part in here is the main body where all the wires come together these two pieces in here all right you see these two pieces in here are are the ones responsible to communicate through the engine and in this piece in here there is another part that connects this part belongs to the ats or atd the after treatment device okay as you can see all these connections are responsible to communicate between the ecu and the acm okay after treatment control module electronic control unit right so this is the first part over here the next part is the wires that comes out through here this is for the oil pressure sensor the one that connects on the top this is for the crankcase breather sensor this is for the pressure this is for the wire and fuel right this one in here is for the oil level sensor all it comes all the way here down this one in here is for the doser block these two in here one is to measure the pressure the other ones are for the signals all right when the when the doser block needs to open and close all right so following the main body again to the right this part this part that comes out from here goes around the engine in the rear part and connects this is the intake boost and temperature sensor All right we have in here this is for the one is for the EGR ball for the actuator the other one is for the um, uh, uh, flywheel that's to that's to check the flywheel speed sensor and this one is for the let me remember guys is for the uh, uh, for the after treatment injector okay this and the funny thing about Volvo is like uh, all these together they fit in the same if you don't know where you connect him sometimes after you change the harness the truck won't start if you connect one of these in in another place because they fit but you have to see the length of the wire and it is going to connect properly all right this is for the after treatment injector this is for the uh egr valve and this one in here no this one is for the crankcase I'll, sorry this one okay let me start again this is for the EGR ball this is for the flywheel to check it out the speed sensor all right and this one is for the after treatment control model sorry guys about that but that's what it is and the last one in here these two wires belong to the starter motor this one are for the solenoid all right starter solenoid okay so this is for the back for the back side of the harness this part in here okay now we're gonna take a look in the right hand side and we have in here this one goes to the engine block all right this is a ground this one this one is for if your truck has like a, for example a bypass valve like the one that goes in the turbo it opens and closes, so let it go the air pass through without going through the turbo so this is this is 
that sensor over there. This is for the air conditioning, you know, to turn on and off the uh, compressor. This is for the alternator. See, these are two wires that go to alternator. Okay. This one, this in here, these two that comes in here are for the heater, the intake heater. For example, the trucks are, the trucks there have extreme cold temperatures. These two things in here, if your truck comes equipped with a intake heater, it might heat up the, the air when you start cranking the engine and that helps to turn smooth the engine when it's really cold all right so this one in here i believe it is for the fan clutch but those with magnetic fan clutch all right this controls the magnetic clutch to you know release or lock the fan so following we have the injector harness the sad part about this harness is like if the injector harness is having troubles, right? I believe Volvo is the only manufacturer that does this nowadays. But I know anymore in the early and the 2015 and up models, they start changing this part. And now you can, it has like, it's like Freilander. It has two pieces. This part comes apart and you can just replace the injector harness by itself okay so and usually I have seen the many trucks especially the many bulbs that start leaking oil from this o-ring here so if you see oil in the front of the engine it might come from here so you might check that okay following the path of the harness let me see we have in here, this one is the coolant temperature sensor. All right. In here we have the, this is for the delta pressure sensor, EGR. All right, EGR DPS. This one is to measure the, uh, after the EGR cooler temperature sensor. Okay. This one in here is for the turbo. As you can see, it has more holes than this one because this one is just to uh, uh, this one is to check the. Uh, this is just for the temperature. Um, let me see. No, this is the speed sensor. Yeah, sorry. This is the turbo speed sensor. All right. Uh, we have in here. <clears throat> this is the temperature sensor after the turbo. All right, after you pass the air to the turbo, that's the temperature sensor. Uh, we have in here, this are, these two in here are for the piston coolers. All right, Volvo has a system when uh, they has a piston cooler that let it go, let it pass the oil to, through the, to the oil filter module. And this allow to do that. So that's the reason why they have a lot of oil. Because sometimes I have seen many bulbs they leak from there too. In another video, I'm gonna show you how the oil pistol coolers looks, so you can have an idea why you need to buy if you want to replace them. And this one in here is to check the pressure on the oil pistol cooler too. All this, all this part of the harness belongs to all, to that part only. Uh, and that's all I have for you guys today. This is just uh, in depth how to check your engine harness. We, this one is already off the engine, obviously, but if you had the chance to check it with the engine out of the chassis, I will show you in a, a video, okay? Thanks for watching, and I see you in my next video. Bye.